Hello and welcome back to Lord Fent Gaming Plays Wasteland 3. I'm your host, Lord Fent Wasteland 3, part 52 walkthrough video. We're doing the traitor. Also, decide the fate of Liberty Buchanan. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Wasteland 3 videos like this. And do not forget that notification bell so you'll be updated and more. So let's go ahead and start some trouble. Now, first thing we're going to do, since the Godfishers and the Clowns killed each other off, and the Scar Collectors are uh, basically gone, we're going to go ahead and uh, wheel down the door seats to defense. They're guarding Liberty Buchanan. So we just unlocked the door. I'm going to set myself up for a nice sniper kill. I'll return when the battle is done with. Apart, taking. <laughs>
Well, look like our little toaster courageous just kicked some serious butt. Oh my goodness, that was really good. So we have one more Dorsey defense before I actually uh, do that. I'm just going to go ahead and heal everybody up and do some final exploring. You're asking why you're doing exploring at a time like this. Well, here's the thing. Once we uh, clear out the Dorsey, as soon as we enter that door of liberty, yeah, that's going to be a point of no return. You might as well just get everything done at this point. I'll uh, definitely explain that again, but for now, let's just loot everything up. That's all right. And uh, get this uh, door open. There is a derby I'm going to go ahead and explore. I think there's a cassette tape there for those of you at home who needs those uh, collectibles. Yep, so I go uh, this way. And that's where the uh, camera angle just uh, move uh, oddly. Oh, well, let's see. Nothing else here. And I'm just looking around and just using the map. And look like there's, I think there's a building there. I might try explore it. I'll see if I can anyways. So that's the uh, derby, everyone. Let's uh, check that. Okay, I think that just leads to uh, the outside area. Ooh, I found something. Yeah, that would have been, okay, that's a good uh, trinket to have. Okay, scraps, that would have been really useful uh, during the uh, pre-patch of that money thing. Yeah, they nerfed that, so I'm sorry about that. Oh, wait, 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 spot something hidden. Let's see what that is. All right, some more armor modding. Now, this is a good time if you want to go back to base and use your uh, armor slash weapon modding mule to do this. Otherwise, you should uh, just go forward. I'm just looking some more. And there's that there. What is that? Okay, more uh, modding stuff. Yeah, we're finding a lot of modding stuff already. That's all right. Let's check over here. I think this gate, yeah, that gate just leads me uh, back. What is inside that? Let me uh, see. Okay, repair kit. That's uh, good. That's uh, good. You may never know. I'm going to check this uh, truck out. There's, I think, a cassette tape inside. I'm going to go ahead and let that uh, roll. I'll return when it's done. Ooh, you can smell the burning rubber here at Yuma County Speedway as we head into the final laps of the Cactus Cup. It's been neck and neck this afternoon as Allison Rodriguez and Daryl Stone have led the pack. But now Sammy Martinez is coming up on the high side trying to pass Stone. Coming into the straightaway, Rodriguez has the lead. Stone switches to the inside. Here comes Rodriguez. We've got a three-way fight for the lead. This is going to be slow. Stone hit Rodriguez. Martinez can't get out of the way. And, and now he's hit Stone. Stone and Martinez are unlocked together and both cars are on fire. We've got a red flag and emergency cruiser trying to reach the cars. Oh, man, this looks bad. That should uh, do it for the uh, derby. I decided to just walk on my way uh, back. Yeah, you see those uh, bodies? That's where the godfishers and the clowns are supposed to be and the scars. Yeah, well, they uh, killed each other, which is really good. Yeah, those two side missions are definitely worth doing, no matter what difficulty. I'm just looking around to see if there's anything else for me to uh, loot up. Okay, nothing there. Let me uh, check this way. I do not want to trigger any uh, fights yet, so... I'm going to try to be really slick. Yeah, I'm trying to seriously be really slick. Okay, look like there are turrets there. I'm going to have to handle this very carefully. And that's the uh, clowns. Yeah, see all the uh, animals and penguins? Yep. And dead bodies of clowns too. Unfortunately, clowns bought the farm. Well, actually, I don't care about the clowns. They deserve it. Now be careful here. There are traps here. I accidentally uh, sprung one. You're going to see that in a bit. Still, just uh, really be careful, especially on Supreme Jerk difficulty. They might add an extra layer of deadliness. And yeah, the toaster, I think, set it off. I'm blaming the toaster. Yeah, see, I'm blaming the toaster. Make sure you have your antidotes on you and heal up everybody with antidotes at this point. Do it really uh, quick. Yeah, I'm just going to go a little bit fast on the PlayStation 4. I'm just panicking right now. I don't want to, you know, get my uh, animals killed. I'm trying to keep most of them alive for this playthrough. The other playthroughs, well, except for the goat, I won't care. I'll probably do that on a lower difficulty for that goat. In case I messed up. Wait, I think I did mess up. But still, that's the point. Yeah, you uh, definitely want to keep yourself uh, with medicine cabinet on your uh, character. AK medicines all time, all types. You may never know. Yeah, come here. You too. You're going to get healed up. And let me see who else needs it. I think I need it. Yep, and I think Sammy does need it. 
And yeah, everybody else does too. Poltron <laughs> needs it. Oh boy. Yeah, I forgot. Poltron is like human like, I think, now. That is weird though. It's like a robot chicken or cyborg chicken. That's the correct term for this game. And all of a sudden, yeah, it needs it. Try to see who else is there. And yeah, it's getting a little harder. I mean, come on. And yeah, I think I got that one. Now, be careful with uh, if you have the toaster repair ability and you're a medic. Sometimes you set someone on uh, fire. Yeah, just be careful with that. It was a bad combination. Still, experimenting at the time to see which work, which uh, doesn't work. I'm just healing up anyways because if I don't see anything else there, I will have to do is kill the last remaining Dorsey. Yeah, you heard me right. This will be like the final defense if you're persuasive like my characters. If I remember right, I think you need Kiss Ass 10 and uh, maybe Hard Ass 10. I advise uh, definitely uh, having your uh, characters with that. Probably going to say your NPCs has uh, at least 10 of them on one and the other. If you uh, want to have one of your rangers with that, just one of the two, and then have the other NPC with the other ones. So I'm just going to look, make sure I'm healing up. Yeah, I'm going to say this also. Despite the fact that uh, Kiss Ass and Hard Ass is not useful for uh, combat, it could get you through the game really well. I mean, come on. The uh, Kiss Ass and Hard Ass got me out of through a lot of trouble. I mean, you should definitely max those out to 10. It'll help you out. And yeah, you always want to talk your way out before fighting, especially on higher difficulties, so you can breeze through some parts of the uh, game. That's why I like to invest in the talking skills in many games so I can talk my way out. If I need to fight, yeah, I'll uh, definitely do need to fight. Let's see who else needs it. Okay, little guy, you need it too. Everybody got Nick back there. I think I'm going to check this room one more time. I separated Sammy. So this way, in case there's another one. Okay, cryo grenades are all right. Uh, more of those. Uh, come on, give me some rockets. I need those. Let's see. Okay, let's see what's in there. Ammo box. Uh, more 9mm bullets. I got plenty of those. I'm just looking, and I think that should do it. Yep, everything's all explored. We only got one more place to uh, actually uh, go to. Yeah, the Dorseys. We gotta clear them out. Otherwise, yep, we're not gonna get far. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set up my character, get my sniper ready for... Uh, assassination or attempt to assassinate so I'm gonna go ahead and fire this shot I'll return when the battle is over Lock.
well, if you have kiss ass or hard ass, that should be the last battle you uh, should do if it's at 10. Otherwise, I'm going to say this right now. This next battle is tough. And I'm going to say this since I try it out on one of my trophy slash achievement guides. Aim for liberty. Not once, but twice. You aim for liberty. ASAP. You can make a battle done really uh, quick. Then you can make a choice of keeping her alive or killing her. If you uh, try to kill her, she'll fight to the very bitter end. You get that uh, kill trophy. Otherwise, you can bring her in now. Like I said before, if you have, uh, I think it was Kiss Ass 10, you make this thing go really uh, quick. Now, that door, after I open uh, this one, there's another door. This will be a warning door. This will warn you, hey, listen up. You're about to reach the uh, point of no return for Wasteland 3. Do everything, because once you're uh, past this point, you cannot. All quests, all missions, you name it, will be shut down. So I advise uh, looting this entire area up, getting all the creepy dolls, get all the vehicle parts if you uh, can. Just get everything because once you open that door, talk to Liberty, you're on your way towards the end game. Yep, you heard me right. You're uh, towards end game and I have to target this. All right, med uh, packs. That's really useful. Seriously uh, useful. Yeah, I'm doing right now is just looting everything up before I uh, go ahead and uh, start my final run. Yeah, at this point, yeah, talking to Liberty, I do consider the final run of the uh, game. I forgot to check this uh, because the Dorseys were uh, guarding it. I didn't want to risk uh, going uh, being caught off guard. Would be a bad idea. Okay, that looks like it's a strange torture device. Yeah, well, whoever's there is just a bunch of weirdos. Well, they're dead anyways. They deserved it. Let's check. Nothing else there. What is behind that door? Okay, Scar Collector Slave. He just staying there. Yeah, go ahead, stay there. Okay, that must be the Scar Collector Wing. Scotchmo, you're up. Yeah, seriously, you're up. And okay, a Proton Axe. Yes, that's one of the uh, old school weapons from Wasteland 1. They're in uh, Wasteland 2. I think I didn't use much of them at all. Still, I like throwback weapons like that. And that weapon was all right. I think it was a weird science one or something like that. Could have been better. I'm just loot this too. And, ah, oh, come on. Rockets. I want some rockets. They're uh, rare, but helpful for uh, my uh, explosive uh, expert. And I'm going to go ahead and explore uh, one more area. See if I uh, can. I think I already did it already. Yeah, I think I did it. Oops. Yeah, I think I already did it. So let's go ahead and head back to that uh, door. Now, I'm going to say this. Make a save. Yeah, trust me. You want to make a save here. Just in case you want to see uh, what happens in the uh, ending game. If you keep Liberty alive or uh, dead. See, there's your warning sign. All save popped up. So I'm just going to say leave it closed for now. It also just gives you a warning too. So I'm going to make a save. There you uh, go. I made the game save. So I'm going to open the door up. Go ahead and deal with Liberty Buchanan. I'll explain my actions after I'm done. And uh, wish me good luck. The Arizona Rangers. I was wondering what made my shaky little coalition of pawns self-destruct. I guess I should have killed you the first time I met you. Live and learn. And now you're here to demand I go back to my father, who, don't tell me, promised to help you in return. And the sad thing is, he'll actually do it. All because in a world of warlords, he wants his idiot idea of civilization to spread. He wants borders, trading, alliances. The old fool thinks helping you will make you a friend to rely on, when really, it will only make you strong enough to attack him later. Why can't he see the simple truth? That only by ruling everything and everyone can one truly have peace. Only in empire is there stability. Submission from my subjects, peace from me. And you, intentionally or not, have made achieving that peace just a little bit easier. You've got both my brothers locked up in your headquarters. All the eggs I want to crack are in one basket. 
So, thanks. Is that sarcasm? Well, it doesn't matter. Now, whatever ultimatum you're here to give me, I'll save you the trouble and give you one of my own. Go back to Arizona, Rangers, and I'll pretend none of this happened. Stay, and you die alone, far from home. What do you say? wouldn't dare. I'd... I'd... Oh, I suppose it's true. The warlords don't like a loser, and they will see this as a defeat. Fine. I can play the penitent daughter until the old man dies. My time will come. You're prisoner. Well, I did promise the Patriarch I uh, bring his uh, daughter in via live, so I decided to uh, do that. Now, behind this door is another person we're going to talk to. We have Lucia Wesson. You'll get extra dialogue, so I'm going to go ahead and speak with this uh, fellow here. Thank you for the rescue, friends. Forgive me for not looking my best. These savages haven't allowed me a bath or a change of clothes since they kidnapped me. I'm Percival Wesson, of the Hundred Families. Uh, before we go any further, I, I know the Dorseys killed most of my family, but do you have any word of my daughter, Lucia? Oh, thank God. I, I didn't think the Dorseys had got her, but after that, who knew? I'll join her as soon as I can. I didn't set out to kill his family. I just, things happened. You see, years ago, the Patriarch asked me to get some men together and disrupt a meeting of the Dorseys, who were, as you say, agitating for elections in Colorado. Now, Saul didn't feel it was time for that yet. So we showed up in hoods, brandishing clubs, ready to teach them all a lesson. But once they began to fight back, I started shooting instead of swinging. And a Dorsey died. And after that, well, we couldn't leave any witnesses alive, so... It was a terrible thing. The most shameful act of my life. And it has come back to haunt me in the worst way possible. I'm ready to die, strangers. Or serve my time, or anything you decide. Whatever it is. I'll deserve it. Thank you, Rangers. My place is with my daughter. Yeah, I decided to keep Lucia Wesson's fire alive. I want to keep her loyalty. I felt like that was very important. Now, I'm locked in at Endgame, so as soon as I go outside, I'll have to make a choice. That'll be for the uh, next uh, video. But for now, I'm going to show you all where the final creepy doll is at. It's in that locker. I'm trying to get uh, a certain person here. Come on. Disable the explosives. You could do it. Yeah, once I grab that creepy doll, I'm going to go ahead and get the trophy slash achievement for it. And come on, Sammy. Yeah, I've been collecting them all. They are all worth it. There will be a guide up for it. So let me open this up. And there is the creepy doll. <laughs> now, 
Now for the next step, this is uh, optional. You could tell the mechanic that you uh, decide to keep Liberty Buchanan alive. Also, if you want to go ahead and restock on anything that you do need for supplies. And basically, uh, the trader is uh, definitely uh, done as soon as I uh, get outside. I'm just going to go ahead on my, on my way out. Yeah, I'm just going to go uh, this way. I'm going to check right now. It's just tell me one more objective left, which is return to Colorado Springs. Uh, that'll be for the uh, next video. So let me uh, go this way. Yeah, keep on going. Now, remember that uh, briefcase you, if you uh, did get it at the uh, Lex Apartments? Well, guess what? It is time to uh, cash that in. Since if you uh, didn't open it up, well, you're going to get something that's really nice. And uh, there is the briefcase guy. Project solution built and ready for execution. Yield return sensor config. Compiler report. Zero errors. Zero warnings. Running constructors. Sensor data stream has produced a viable enhancement model. Device recorded hours of agent activity and constructed final device to maximize efficiency. If you went to the Toaster Academy, you just got yourself the second best armor set in the game. It has high strength requirements. Yeah, I believe if I remember right, I think it's eight. You could equip it. And I'm going to say I have the Toaster Gear on Sammy, which is, uh, I think it's ten. And I'm going to equip that on Scotch mode since that's the uh, best set for uh, him. Yeah, might as well uh, give him everything that is the best. Once I am done equipping it, I'm going to go ahead and visit Mechanic. Yeah, tell him the good news. I might as well. And besides, that does look very cool on Scotch Mo. So I'm going to give him the good news, the mechanic, and uh, do other things. So let me go ahead and speak with them. I'll return afterwards. I'll give my recap for uh, this uh, video. And he's going to like us now. I hacked Liberty security cameras, Rangers. I saw everything. Job well done. Got her all wrapped up with the bow. Now go collect your reward. I've got some cleaning up to do around here before I go. But I'll buy you a round or three when I get back to CS. Yeah, absolutely. Have a look. I might as well uh, check the vendor. Okay, looks like everything's the same from last time. You may never know anyways. So uh, let me uh, go ahead and give a nice recap for uh, today's video while I'm going to be walking around. First of all, I defeated the last remaining D Dorsey defense. I uh, decided to loot up the uh, joint of cassette tapes and a uh, creepy doll after Liberty Buchanan. Speaking of Liberty Buchanan, I decided to spare her. Yep, uh, she was supposed to be spared. I promised that to her daddy. I did that. Uh, got the uh, briefcase to the right location. Got Scotch from some nice... Uh, nuclear uh, power armor and I'm ready to make my uh, end game run my final choice of the uh, game well everyone in the next uh, and final uh, wasteland 3 walkthrough video I'm going to be making a powerful choice well this is it for my wasteland 3 part 52 walkthrough video the trader Liberty Buchanan decision this is Lord Fenton signing off thank you for watching and have a wonderful day or night please stay safe Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this. If you do like what you see, hit that subscribe button and check out my suggestions on the upper left hand corner or the bottom left hand corner YouTube suggestion. Have a wonderful day or night. Please stay safe.